In this session, we are discussing structured query language that is SQL and its basic structure. So, let us go to the point that how we should utter this particular SQL and what are the respective other details. SQL is an abbreviation for structured query language and pronounced either as SQL or as separated letters like SQL. So, we can also pronounce it at SQL or we can pronounce it as SQL having the full form structured query language. SQL is a standardized query language for requesting information from a database to read or write information onto the database, we can use this particular SQL. The original version called SQL that is the original version having the full form that is structured English query language was designed by IBM research center in the year 1974 and 1975. So, this is the history from where this SQL was designed and developed. So, now let us go for the basic structure of SQL. So, the basic structure of SQL will be like this one. Here select a1, a2, dot dot, dot am, where r1, r2, dot dot, dot rn, where p. So, this is a basic structure. Select from where they should come in this particular order in the SQL, they cannot be altered. Here where is optional, but select and from they are mandatory to, to be present in the SQL query and all these are nothing but the attribute names that is a1 to am they are nothing but attribute names and r1 to rn they are nothing but the relation names or the table names and p stands for the predicate or condition. So, the respective relational algebraic form we have already uh, learned the re relational algebra in our previous videos you can watch that one. It is nothing but pi a1 a2 dot dot, dot am that means we shall be doing the projection operation pi on this particular attributes or columns or fields on this particular relation generated by applying sigma p that means we are selecting those tuples which will satisfy this predicate or condition p is true when the it is working on R1 Cartesian product R2 Cartesian product dot 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 Cartesian product Rn. That means, here we will be having R1 R2 dot 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 Rn they are nothing but the respective relations and these relations will be obtained by doing the Cartesian product and on that particular relation the sigma p will be working and that will be pi a1 to am. So, in this way this particular relational algebraic expression is corresponding to this basic structure of this SQL. So, that means whatever the relation names will be mentioning after from they will get connected through Cartesian product and then whatever the condition or predicate will be mentioning after where that will be coming as a suffix for sigma and then a1 a2 dot dot, dot am they will be coming as a suffix for projection operation pi to work on this resultant relation. So, let us go for one example, but before going for example, let me make it clear that this particular chapter will be uh, will be based on this six schemas, whatever we had in our previous chapters also that we are having this branch, customer, account, loan, depositor and borrower. So, this six schemas will be using as they are schemas. So, the first letter of the schema name we have written capital letter when it will be considered as a relation then we shall write them in the lowercase letters. So, that is one convention. So, branch is having branch name, branch city, branch assets, customer is having customer name, customer street and customer city, account is having account number, branch name and balance, loan is having loan number, branch name and amount, deposited is having the customer name and that is our along with that account number and borrower is having the customer name along with the loan number. So, here we have written the six schemas on which we will be working. Let us consider one query, find the branch name of all branches located at Noida. So, we require to find out all branches which will be located at the branch city Noida from the branch relation or from the branch table. So, here you see we are having this branch here branch name, branch city, branch assets. So, I require to get all the branch names in the city say branch city will be Noida and 
assets are not uh, getting extracted here. So here we have written select branch name. So only A1 we have written A1 is corresponding to branch name here from branch. So R1 is corresponding to branch where branch city is equal to Noida. So this branch city is equal to Noida is corresponding to P or predicate or condition. So in this way the query has been written. Remember here we have used the suffix M here we have used the suffix N. So suffix M is there suffix N is there that means it is not mandatory that number of relations names whatever you are writing after from separated by commas must uh, should not be same it is not necessary that the count of those relations must be same as the attribute numbers or the number of attributes. And in this way we have discussed what is SQL, what are the full forms, what is the history, what is the purpose, what is the basic structure of SQL in SQL format and in the relational algebraic form and also we have explained the structure of SQL through one suitable example. Thanks for watching this video.